Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub and Gopath. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install Selector Sub on Firefox, how to use it, and the unique innovative features of Selector Sub. Those who are watching for the first time, Selector Sub is the very first XPath and CSS Selectors Smart Editor. It helps you to generate, write, verify XPath and all types of selectors. It has really incredible innovation like Shadow DOM support, iframe, nested iframe support, SVG support, nested Shadow DOM support, Shadow DOM inside iframe support, smart editor, compilation error, de uh, debugger is there. So lots of incredible innovative features are there. So let's quickly jump into it and see how can we install it. To install Selector Sub, just go to selectorsub.com website here you will find the uh, all the download links here so here we want to install on firefox so click on firefox here there will be a button add to firefox and also you see that this is the highest rated 5 star rated xpath and selectors add-on on firefox click on add to firefox click on add after adding it will very quickly add it it also suggests that refresh the tabs or restart the browser whichever is convenient you can do that after installing it you will find the logo here if you click you will get some of the information over here then uh, open a new tab so as you open new tab this is a, de a default tab or new tab in the any browser on firefox let's say so if there is no application open like no web application open so you see that selector sub will not work i will show you first before that uh, let me show you where you can find the selector sub in dev tools so uh, how i have opened this dev tools let me again do it right click click on inspect so here on the left side you will see the dom something like that inspector and the, on the right side you will find the selector sub tab here if it is not visible like this you open sometimes then it will be the last tab here or for the better view always keep it expanded now if you click on selector sub tab you will see that some of the information it shows you that don't use it on blank tab open google.com after installing restart browser so that's what like some instruction so here let's say let open google.com and now open selector sub here click on inspect open you see that it works like charm so as soon as you open selectors hub let me just zoom in as soon as you open selectors hub you will see that uh, this will be the default view on selectors hub so uh, like here you see that couple of buttons and each and everything are there everything is self-explanatory when you will mouse over on them you will get information here you will get auto generated selector here you can write and type your own xpath and selector you can verify them then all those features are there so uh, the very first thing let me explain you how can we write the xpath and css selector on this uh, in selector sub if you want to use it in editor mode you can use it in editor mode click on this you can turn off this auto generated for a second let's say and we want to write an xpath or verify xpath let's say suppose we want, we want to find out all the links on this page so how you do that double forward slash a hit enter there are 35 links on this page but if you same thing you find try to find out here in dev tools like double forward slash a you see that there are 76 it is showing which is wrong okay so that is the reason that you should always use selector sub to write and verify your xpath and css selector so that you get the right information now suppose we have to write an xpath for this element here this is the one so how you can quickly build the xpath you see that as soon as you type here you get auto suggest for your xpath and css selector whichever you will be start typing so selector sub is, is smart enough to understand whether you are typing xpath or css selector so if you will be typing xpath it will give you the xpath suggestion along with their occurrences then xpath it suggests that this is these are the xpath function if there will be more than one matching node it will tell you and then any of the value you can choose and quickly build your xpath if that uh, element will be hidden somewhere when you will hit enter it will put that into viewable area it will highlight in dotted outline you hover it it will change the color so all those things amazing things are there you if you want to add more condition here 
in your x path you can add that here in more conditions if you want to uh, use following sibling and preceding sibling let's say that all you start typing it will give all those suggestions so this is really a smart it helps you to write and build your own x path so this is how you can write and build your own x path and suppose you want to write the css selector let's say so as you type css selector it will give you the css selector suggestions css selector options here and suppose like you want to write the x uh, css selector with class you just type dot here it will give you the suggestion and that enter if you will be let's say you have we have written an x path and that's a pretty long one we have written suppose this kind of x path we have written and now we have we have let's say made some mistake here like we have added this one so it will give you the compilation error as well like what's wrong in your x path add tag name after forward slash so this helps you with the proper error message if you will miss anything like single quote something like that it will let you know that single quote is missing so that you can fix it so it really helps you now suppose you want to save this x path value somewhere and you want to write a new x path so how to do that you need not to copy and paste this value somewhere else you can hear itself in selectors hub there's a button here to save selector in this you, if you click on this click on this this value will saved here and now if you click here you will find the value here so suppose if you if you deleted this value from here and you build a new x path now this one and if you want to go back and edit the previous one you just go here and click on this one this value come here so this is how you can save and fetch the value total more than uh, like around 10 value you can save 10 value you can save it here let's say you want to save one more value here so this is how you click on this the value got saved here you can fetch them anytime so this is how this is really cool feature and it's really help a lot while typing if you don't want to see these auto suggestion you can also turn off them like sometimes people are really quick or people want to think by themselves that what all options could be possible so you can turn it off here so this is how you're like now if you will type you can build your own x path okay so we have seen this one auto suggest now let's turn on this one so here you will get couple of options like as you inspect the element you get the best relative css selector selector sub is the only tool which gives you the relative css selector you get the relative x path as well which is like very unique very robust you get all possible selectors here so you see that name is there what is the occurrence class name what is the occurrences js path which is really useful for the developers and those who are writing the js code absolute x path tag name so all those things you get it here like when you inspect any element you get all possible selectors here okay so now here you see that uh, we are getting all these options but it we have to expand like we have to scroll every time but so let's say we want to see all of them together there's a button here expand click to expand see all so you can click on that and now we you will not have we will not have to scroll you just inspect element all of them will come in front cool so this is really helpful now here you see that when we inspect any element let's say so here it is generating with class so how can we generate the x uh, like can we generate the dynamic x path with selector sub yes we can so here it suggests you that class looks dynamic with this alert icon or like anything it will be dynamic like id will be dynamic that it will suggest so this helps you with that now here you see that it suggests that class looks dynamic uncheck the class so you can uncheck the class checkbox so here it will generate with something else so you can generate basically selectors with your own choice own attribute let's say you want to generate with area label this one so that you can enter here area label hit enter it will generate with area label css selector and xpath both so this is how you can generate uh, use the attribute filter option whichever attribute you want to prefer like let's say you doesn't want with name you doesn't want with placeholder that you can uncheck and other stuff here suppose you want to generate like this is x path is giving you want to generate the x path with the command so there is a command feature if you click on this and here you can pass the command here you can refer the detailed tutorial on this let's say your command is find by element find element by x path so 
so wherever you written x path just replace that with x path value i would recommend for this please watch the detailed tutorial here for this one and here you see that this is how this command will generate it now you can copy you can click anywhere here to copy the value this one if you want to edit this value you click on this it will copy paste here so uh, that's how you can keep it off whichever thing you doesn't want you can keep them off and you can have the better and clean view if you want to generate the multiple selectors multiple x path click on this button you can generate x path multiple x path like you just in start inspecting element you will get all of them here you just keep inspecting you get all the selectors here generated and if you want to generate the command you just turn on this command you see that it is generated with all those commands and here you will find all possible selectors you can click to copy all these value you can export them you can watch the tutorial all those options are here then anytime you can go back if there are like some dynamic element which you are not able to inspect that for that you can use the debugger feature like uh, if some 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 of the elements are really tough like these kind of elements as you right click or do something try to inspect them they used to disappear so how to inspect those kind of element so let's say we want to inspect this uh, drop down which comes this one so how to do that like there's a debugger button in selector sub click on this now within 5 seconds make them appear and once they are appear selector sub will stop them here now you inspect that and you see that you would be able to inspect them and here uh, like you can inspect them and do whatever you want so this is how you can inspect the dynamic elements as well with the help of selector sub now uh, there are something uh, like let me open selector sub from here for the applications like playwright which doesn't support the uh, single code because you see by default selector sub generate x path with single code and css selector with single code but playwright doesn't support single code so for that we have the feature generate x path and css selectors with double quotes you click on this now it will generate with double quotes and all the features in selector sub are like uh, whatever settings you will do here in selector sub that those all settings will be saved in selector sub in local so whenever next time you will open it will come with your settings like let's say we open next time so whatever features will be there that like we have set this expanded we set this double quote thing we have also set this command you will find that command will be saved in local so you need not to change those settings or anything again and again they all will be saved in the local and anytime you can find them so this is how quickly you can build the css selectors xpath and write your own selectors now then uh, there is a shadow dom support is there if you as soon as you inspect the element you open selectors of selectors of will give you all the information like this element is inside shadow dom xpath doesn't support and you get the complete script you can copy and paste in your code you also uh, like if there will be nested shadow dom or S svg you see that it uh, tells you that this is svg element this inside two nested shadow dom this is the complete script here you can expand and view this one so all those features are there if any element is inside iframe nested iframe it will let you know that this is inside iframe and then uh, there are multiple iframes everything it will tell you like in iframe this is iframe xpath this is selectors xpath the element which you inspected if there will be uh, multiple uh, iframes like you inspect this one if there will be more than two one iframe it will tell you all those information and you here you get the uh, elements like all those iframes x path like first second and then element so first switch inside this then this and then use this one so this has those all incredible features which support each and everything as you inspect them if it will be svg all that it will tell you so this really helps a lot and the x path and css selector what it generates those are really optimized and you can compare with any tool out there it will always give you the better x path and css selectors i would really request you guys if selector sub you find uh, useful please be a patron and support selector sub our target is like 100 patrons currently there are only i guess uh, 33 as of today and the current release is which uh, with which i'm making this video that is 3.1.9 
also i would really recommend you if you haven't got the certificate get the selected sub certificate this is absolutely free here you can get the certificate take the certification program it has some of the uh, very good quiz on expert and selectors so you will really enjoy and learn a lot of things another good feature on selectors up that you can right click and directly copy the expert selectors value from here from the context menu you can also customize it though i will always recommend you get the values from the selectors up tab see how, what is the dom what is the uh, element tag attributes etc and then take the value avoid copying the value from context menu though that feature is there sometimes it is really useful for the dynamic drop downs and all but still i would always recommend open selectors up tab and then take the value from here and see or build your own xpath that way that would be better if you find any difficulty feel free to raise the issue on bagasura or github whichever you prefer i would really request you please add the rating and give the review here for selectors up if you uh, have any issue any challenge you find please join the telegram group selectors up telegram group or slack always you can find the detailed tutorial here you can find the uh, home page link here all those information are huge thanks to our sponsors all the sponsors and the prime primary sponsor test project and you will find all those information and everything keep an eye on these things whenever you want to see which version is that here you can check and keep looking at this one uh, selectorsub.com website you will find all the information here i would highly recommend you to uh, subscribe to the selectors of youtube channel because i used to keep creating the uh, tutorials and uh, more informative videos so all the upcoming updates and everything you get it here the, like you will find the good events and more uh, useful videos so please check out them here like detailed tutorials on each and every features because i have really quickly uh, showed all the features so con more conceptual videos you will find it here so please watch them and it will really help you a lot and subscribe to the channel and if you have any feedback feel free to reach out to me if you find selectors of useful please donate and support selectors of here you can click on donate here and you can support buy me a coffee or be a patron i that will really help a lot selectors of grow and i will keep innovating more features for you guys with that thank you thank you so much and please do not forget to like this video and share with others keep sharing selectors up so it reach every to everyone and it everyone can save time and learn from selectors up thank you thank you so much.